Hello world, I was recently installing a package globally using npm. So I executed npm, then install minus g for global, and then I gave um, it the package name. So I wanted to install yo here in that uh, case. And what I got was an npm warning. And npm told me that um, global is deprecated and I should use minus minus location equals global instead. So I was quite puzzled because I haven't had this problem before and I wanted to see what can I do about it. I found some tutorials on YouTube that were advising to patch my NPM files. So they were telling me, okay, let's open up C, then program files, Node.js directory, and let's directly modify then npm.cmd and replace the minus G in that script with the new syntax here, minus minus location equals global. But those files also say in the very beginning that you shouldn't modify them manually because they are generated by NPM. So I thought that cannot be the proper solution. Yeah, that cannot be the solution to the problem. So I was then looking up what NPM actually says to that. And the cool thing is that the NPM organization is on GitHub. So you can also find a lot of code on GitHub. So I was checking the code here from the NPM CLI. And what I found was then this fix here where someone said, okay, let's undeprecate the warning. So this warning here that we see um, in my NPM version is undeprecated now, which means um, in later NPM versions, it will not show up anymore. I have an old NPM version, which is 8.11. And then here in this uh, pull request, let's uh, jump to it, we can see that the NPM team says that they made a mistake in older versions and they deprecated minus minus global, that was not intentional and they rolled it back. So by upgrading your NPM version, you won't see this anymore. So let's update our NPM. It's quite simple. We just need to go into the command line and we will then execute an installation, npm install. So short version is just with an I. And then we say, okay, let's install something globally, which is in our case npm. So we can install npm with npm, which I find super cool. Yeah, it's like giving birth to yourself. And we can say, yeah, let's install npm in a specific version. And if we want to have the latest, then we can use this latest tag here. It will refer then to the latest version of npm. We'll still see the warning here in this case because we are installing it with the old NPM version. But as soon as we have the latest one, which in my case here is now 8.13.1. Yeah, as soon as we have this version, we won't see the warning anymore. So when I install now, again, my package here that I initially wanted to install, this uh, yo package, when I do this with uh, version 8.13.1, then I don't get this uh, warning here anymore. That's very, very cool. And to make it like um, a nice round trip, I will also show you how to downgrade your NPM version. It's as easy as upgrading. So downgrading works by simply giving it the version number. So we can execute NPM I minus G NPM add, and let's go back to version 8.11.0 by simply adding it here after the add character. And this will bring us back in time and give us the version that shows the warning. In the case that the update to the latest NPM version doesn't fix the problem for you, then there is a workaround that you can try. So go to C, Program Files, Node.js, and in that Node.js directory, you will find an NPM file and an NPM CMD file. And in these files, I have them open here on the right, you will find this NPM prefix variable that is set to prefix minus G. And the problematic thing is the minus G and you need to change it and replace it with minus minus location equals global. So if you replace this minus G here in the NPM file, then you should also check the NPM CMD file. And in there you will also find prefix minus G. And here you can also replace the minus G with minus minus location equals global. Be also careful from where you pick these files. So they can be in C program files, Node.js, but sometimes they are also symlinked. 
So you will have them here in a roaming directory when you use, for example, tool like NVM to switch your node versions. And in there, there can also be a node models directory where you will find NPM. And in this directory, you can also have a bin directory where there is an NPM and NPM CMD file. So please check on your system, which are the ones that are taken in your case, and then check if you want to replace this prefix here. But again, these files shouldn't be edited manually. So this is just a workaround and nothing that I officially can recommend. Just try it first with updating NPM. And if this doesn't work, then you can still try to like adjust it manually if there's no other way around.